good morning. <laughs> I just woke up. I don't know what I'm wearing right now. I just packed up these are inflatable paddle boards that we got last weekend. So we have two and my friend and I are gonna go do paddle boarding, but I'm like wearing a bathing suit, but I was also cold. So like, I, I don't know. All right, here's the paddle board. We have two of them. This little thing, because we have to pump it up ourselves also. What is going on? Ten minutes later and we have full paddle boards. Um, this is like the best thing I ever bought myself. It comes with the pumps, the fin, a little thing for like keys and stuff that you need to bring, paddles, and then of course had to get the phone case. So I'm not gonna bring the vlog camera with me, but I am gonna bring my phone. So we'll still try and capture some fun paddle boarding footage, but it is so windy today. I don't know if you can tell or if you can hear the wind, but I'm a little nervous that it's gonna be hard to stay standing, but it'll be fun. Oh my God! <laughs> It is so windy. <gasps> We're worried about the way back because it's just literally pushing us out. To see, I'm not even trying. I need just, I think. out of a lot of stuff today but it's still gonna be good. All right, hello. So I made some um this isn't ravioli. I don't know what this is called. Some sort of pasta. It's a lobster pasta. It's from this um family Italian family at the farmers market. It's so good. I usually get their artichoke or butternut squash. It's so good, but got the lobster this time, so. Mmm. 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 So good. So good. I literally just put a little. You guys already know. I picked up salmon at the farmer's market, so we're going to have that for dinner. Make some poke bowls because... We didn't have time to go to the farmer's market last weekend and I was so sad. I was so used to having our fresh salmon from the farmer's market that I legit ordered sushi. I mean, if you watched last weekend's vlog, then you already know that, but I legit ended up ordering um, sushi because I feel like it's just habitual now that Saturday night is salmon night. So picked up the salmon, had so much fun paddle boarding. It's actually like, oh, um, 1 p.m. now so richie just left for the gym but it was fun we it was really really windy <laughs> so we kind of struggled for a hot second um trying to like get back it was really easy to get out because the wind was pushing us out but then we needed to turn around and come back it was definitely some hard work we saw a seal which was really cool he was so close to us almost scared me but he was busy with his fish so it was fine um I don't think I've given you guys this like full update yet on the vlog at least for sure I think I kind of mentioned it in the last vlog because we were celebrating Richie and I surprised him with lunch and his family for graduating but I didn't really I meant to chat about it and I didn't so here we are a week later but basically Richie ended up quitting his job last year in like September I want to say so he went back to learn 
software engineering. I always forget what kind of engineering it's called, but software engineering and it's basically coding and that's pretty much all I know. Um, but there's a bunch of like front end, back end design. So he's been learning a little bit of everything and now he's done with school, which is just crazy. Now we're kind of on to this next chapter of our life, which feels crazy. So he done with school and he's applying for jobs and our lease here is up in July I think it's July July or August I can't really remember but that's kind of like our timeline right now of just who knows where we'll be or what we're gonna do um, I, we kind of have our fingers crossed for leaving LA Rich and I have both been here for like four years um, I'm from San Diego he's from Valencia which is just north of LA and we're just kind of ready for a change of scenery and we don't really know where we want to go we keep just switching back and forth between different cities but Richie's just kind of applying for everywhere and we're just kind of letting that kind of make our decision for us if he gets a remote position then I guess we'll have to bite the bullet and just make a decision ourselves but I guess that's kind of a little life update I feel like I owed you guys that for a while because I keep alluding to different things like things keep happening in the vlogs but I've just never sat down and explained it so there you go Richie quit his job went back to school and is doing a career shift so now it's just a new chapter all right spent the afternoon just hanging out and laying in bed and kind of cleaning but now we're going to take the salmon that we got at the farmer's market so my girlfriend is coming over and I packed up everything for poke bowls and then all this stuff obviously wine and napkins probably put paper towels in here but Pack this bad boy up, and then you guys know the drill. We're headed out to the deck. Oh. Literally so beautiful. Yeah. Wine. Okay. okay, so we have all of our toppings. Oh, good. All of our toppings. I'm weird, and I like to do like an aioli with hot sauce. And then we have rice, cucumber. Here's the salmon for today. Some wine and a good view. And there we have it. A gorgeous little farmer's market poke bowl. All right, it is the next day and we are on our way to um, Mother's Beach, the same beach that we were at yesterday. I'm starting this day the exact same way I did yesterday. We're going paddle boarding with Richie. We've gone once before, but it was only when we had one paddle board. So now we're going out for the first time together with two paddle boards. So gonna blow them up and set sail again and maybe we'll see some more seals do this oh wow look at Boards are blown up again literally in the same exact outfit but paddle boards are blown up and we're gonna take them out hey here trade me because this is the broken one you keep flying past me I'm gonna get the advantage now mm-hmm so you think want to bet Oh yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> no, I don't want to bet. <laughs> no, no way! No way! <laughs> So the breakdown begins. Now we're just letting the air out. The boards. And I'll pack them up in our bags. Oh, 
Oh, hello. Good afternoon. Hello. Duke is so interested in <laughs> sweet green, but this is what I got. My usual, the warm harvestable add avocado. <laughs> and then you already know I have to put it in a bowl. I'm telling you, if you don't toss your salad in a big bowl with tongs, it will be life-changing. And then I literally just eat it out of this bowl, because like, why not? And this is Duke's favorite part of the day. Sunset soaks on the patio. Hmm. You're enjoying yourself, Duke. You. Are you looking for some squirrels? Have you seen any squirrels yet? Who doesn't care? No squirrels? Oh, I do. You did hear me. <laughs> right, it's laundry day, so I'm about to <laughs> strip the bed. We never made it so that's fine um but this is our laundry situation so we don't have laundry in our apartment like in our unit so we have to go downstairs to the communal washers so basically my entire situation not that anyone asks but i'm always so curious because i feel like no one ever talks about doing their laundry in apartment living specifically and we don't have an end unit washer dryer. So this is what I do. Basically get all of our laundry, put it all in the bed and then organize it into different loads and then put it in this cart because it's the only way that I can transport all of it down to the laundry room in one trip. And I know it seems, seems excessive, but because we don't have a laundry unit in here, we really push it. Like we only do laundry every two weeks um, and then we'll do like all of our sheets all of our towels and just everything else because we're only doing it like once every other week so we kind of have to wash literally everything so we always have four to five loads like whites uh delicates darks and then we have all of our towels and then all of our sheets so this is the situation i'm gonna take the bed off i did okay pulled these out because i wanted to show you guys these but I basically have been using these reusable pads for like my makeup remover. Let me see if I can get one out with one hand. But basically I've been using, they're obviously all dirty because I've been using them, but I use these reusable makeup remover pads when I take my makeup off at night. And obviously they get pretty dirty. So once I am done using them, I only use them once because I feel like it'd be weird if I used... A dirty one on when I'm cleaning my face but basically what I do is then I put them in these little mesh bags that I got off of Amazon and then I throw them or I close them first and then I throw them in the laundry like this so that I don't lose any of them and then they're all in here and then they're all clean so I'll show you guys when they're done 10 out of 10 recommend this little life hack and then obviously this cart is life I use it for groceries laundry transporting pretty much anything to my car so this is also another amazon must but that's just little laundry breakdown You ready? Are you ready? Do you want to go watch Sunset with Mama? Yeah. Yeah, this is your leash. Come on. Come here. Oh, we're so excited. We're so excited. <laughs> I wish I got this hype to go outside. <laughs> okay, come here. No, come here. Oh, yes, we're so happy. It's like I don't even need to walk him. I can just tell him we're going on a walk and then he'll exercise himself. Come here. Come on. Hey, sit. Come here. Sit. Thank you. Thank you, that's a good boy. Dookie, are you having a good vlog? Dookie, are you having a good walk? Are you having a good walk? Oh, yes. Sniffing all the sniffs and smelling all the smells. You guys, look, sorry, my hands are so shaky because Duke is pulling, but look at this tree. 
with all of the birdies. Oh my god. There's so many nests. This is so cool. Adventure, do you want to go by the water? <laughs> he, fun fact, hates the water, but he also always wants to run down here and explore. But then the second he gets close to the water, <laughs> he remembers he doesn't like it. But you like the rocks, because it's fun to sniff and explore, huh? Not so fun when you slip. <laughs> 